Um, I'm Barbara Miller. I'm the curator of the collection Exhibitions at the Museum of the Moving Image in Astoria, New York. Um, Queen, the number one tourist destination in the world, <laughs> as they say. Um, I still have trouble finding a place to go for lunch, but that's okay. Um, so I'll just tell you a little bit about the museum and then focus a little bit on what we do in terms of costumes. Um, so Museum of the Moving Image explores the art, history, technique, and technology of the moving image in all its forms, right? It's a very big subject. Um, and we do that through exhibitions on site and on our website. Um, we do it through interpreting our collection in various ways, um, through our education programs, and through um, film screenings in our, in our main theater and our smaller theater. Um, we are not a film or moving image archive. We, um, we are a collecting institution, but we collect the material culture of the moving image. So, so a little bit about that. Um, our collection is vast and varied. Um, it numbers about 130, 140,000 or so artifacts. Um, but it, it, it spans the, you know, runs the gamut from um, video arcade games to costumes. Um, design materials of all kinds, licensed material, cameras, projectors, um, makeup material, all kinds of things. Um, and um, that material is on view in our core exhibition called Behind the Screen, which tells the story of uh, producing, promoting, and exhibiting the moving image, um, ostensibly in, in various forms, but it's, it's fairly film heavy, um, a lot of TV and some, um, and some video game explorations in video games as well. Um, yeah, so as you can see from, from our collection, like I said, it is really varied. It is sort of hard to stay on top of the needs of all of those things. Um, we populate our core exhibition with material from our collection, which is nice. Um, but so on view at any given time is about 1% of our collection. Um, I should say that um, that it is very, it's sort of very hard to collect um, the kinds of things that we do, especially given the fact that we have no acquisitions budget, um, which is a challenge. Um, and, and to sort of stay on top of, um, of the field as it is so, so, it's so rapidly evolving all the time, both in the, um, in the technology and also the sort of forms of storytelling going on. Um, so um, the museum has always had um, a, a, a collection of costumes and costume design materials, and those uh, are some of the examples of the things in, in our collection. And we have, uh, we have a section in our core exhibition devoted to costume and costume design. I don't know if you see the Bill Cosby sweaters up there, but... Um, <laughs> in a controversial move, it has recently come down. We'll see if it has back up again. Um, and we also have um, changing exhibitions where we feature a lot of costumes, and we have um, live events in our theater where we talk to costume designers, etc. Um, so some of the costumes you're seeing there on a special exhibit were from um, an exhibit we did called uh, Persona, Magnificent, Magnificent Obsessions. Um, that um, included a lot of costume material um, not pictured here. We did, we recently um, did an exhibition about the television series Mad Men, which sort of went through the creative process behind the show and featured a lot of the costumes um, designed by Janie Bryant. Uh, John Dunn was here now uh, designed some of the uh, material for Mad Men as well early on, um, including Janie's mood boards and all that kind of thing. And, um, and sort of, um, you know, important about the, the museum before I close that it's um, it's a place for exploring the creative process. It's not a place for just sort of going and um, sort of feeling like you're next to a piece of memorabilia. We, we you know we sort of always come across the challenge of getting our visitors, uh, sort of engaging our visitors to examine the artifacts of production of the moving image in a way that really really encourages them to look at them as objects and that as sort of parts of the creative process. Um, I think that there's no more challenging area to do that than costumes. Um, we can talk about this a little bit more as we go further, but I just wanted to sort of bring up here um, that um, 
and costumes are, are sort of very often conflated with character. So when you come up to a costume, especially as it's been worn by somebody famous or in a famous movie, you have this sense of being next to the character or sort of inside the film, and it's the it's it's the kind of artifact that that communicates that immediacy like no other, right? Not you know in a, in a very different way than a set model does, or you know a piece of licensed merchandise or any kind of design material or you know any of the technical apparatus. Um, so for us, it's really a challenge to focus, um, to engage with that, uh, that, that, that costume as, as an object and to, to encourage our visitors to um, engage with that as an object and really, really think about the costume as a product of a particular creative process and as an element in a wider creative process that, um, that resulted in the film, TV, or video game. So I'll stop there. <laughs>